Hey there, my name is Austin and today we're going to be talking about exactly how the ATM business works and I'm going to break down why in my opinion it is the number one way in 2020 to create passive income. Just to give you a little bit of background, I actually currently own about 100 ATM machines and I'm not just one of those guys making videos on YouTube talking about a business that I don't personally do myself. And let's face it, there are a lot of ways in 2020 to make passive income, okay? But I want you to know that this is probably gonna be one of the most lucrative ways that you've heard on YouTube so far. And you might have already heard about the ATM business, but right now I'm gonna explain exactly how it actually works and I'm gonna debunk every myth that you have in your head. Okay, I took it upon myself to make this crazy cool flow chart and we're gonna jump into exactly what the flow chart means and how this chart describes exactly how the ATM business works. So essentially, the customer will withdraw $60 in this example from the ATM machine. The ATM charges the customer a surcharge fee of $3. The $3 is being charged to the customer's bank along with the $60 cash withdrawal. The customer's bank then deposits the $63 total into your business account linked to your ATM. You fill your machine back up with the $60 deposited into your account and you profit $3 for each transaction. Okay, I hope that chart makes a ton of sense to you, but I wanted to just kind of debunk everything that you think you know about the ATM business and the reality of it is that one of the biggest things that I thought when I got started in the business was that the banks owned all of the ATMs. But a fun fact for you is there are currently right around 425,000 privately owned ATMs in the United States alone. And just so you know, I am a normal average guy. The fact that I got into the ATM business and scaled my business to where it is at today um, kind of honestly just blows my mind to this day. And if you're watching this video, um, another thing you should probably know is that when I got into the business, I didn't plan on it being a business at all. As a matter of fact, I got into the ATM business to pay my bills, okay? So before you click off this video and go watch some other video on YouTube, definitely stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna drop a ton of value on how you can also get into the ATM business to pay your bills. So I didn't get into the ATM business thinking I was gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars and be like rich beyond my wildest imagination. That is not why I got in the business. The reason I got into the business, like I said, was to pay my bills. I wanted to pay my car payment. I wanted to pay my cell phone bill. I wanted to pay my rent. And I wanted to pay some other bills that I had in my life and not have to worry about that. I wanted the other businesses that I have in my life to be icing on the cake. I wanted those businesses to be able to create revenue for me to be able to take that revenue and invest it back into other things so I could make more money, such as real estate and the stock market and a 401k and an emergency fund and all of these other things that we talk a ton about on this channel. Which leads me to my next point and that is to smash the like button if you haven't already for the YouTube algorithm. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into exactly how the ATM business works and what you would need to do to get your first ATM and get started on paying your bills. Step number one is you would form an LLC, okay? I am not um, gonna give you a bunch of legal advice, so definitely consult with your attorney or your accountant, but at the end of the day, a LLC protects you. It also allows you to open up a business bank account with a business EIN number so that you can run everything from your first ATM machine right through your business bank account. Which leads me to kind of a little side tip, which is the ATMs are actually depreciatable, okay, if that is a word. You can essentially depreciate an ATM the same way that you can depreciate real estate. Now that you have your LLC, step number two is to create a bank account. You've gotta to go to your local bank and you've gotta create a bank account so that you can start your business. Step number three is marketing, okay? Um, and you know, this is kind of one of those things where you're probably like, Austin, I get it, I need an LLC, I need a business bank account, but where do I buy an ATM? How much is an ATM? And where do I put the ATM? First of all, you can put the ATM wherever you want. I've actually had an ATM in my living room before um, and around Christmas time, I had a bunch of buddies come over and we would play different games and let's just say, I charge my buddies to pull out cash, okay? Does that make me a bad friend? Or 
Does that just make me somebody that sees opportunity and takes it? All right, but really, you gotta figure out where you're gonna put an ATM. So before you even buy an ATM, figure out where you're gonna put it. Now, before you say, Austin, the ATM business is saturated and everywhere I go, there's already an ATM. And I'm just gonna click off this video right now because there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to start an ATM business. It sounds interesting, but it's never gonna happen for me. Okay, you've gotta stop thinking all those negative thoughts immediately, and you've gotta start thinking about why you deserve to have an ATM to pay your bills. So the question is then, and point number three, like I was talking about, is where are you gonna put it? You can put it anywhere. You can put it in a local barber shop. You can put it in a nail salon. You can put it in an outdoor event. There are literally thousands of places you can put an ATM. You can even put it in a place like a bar. You could also put it in a place like a billiard, a pool billiard. We have an ATM business all around the country and we are constantly finding new places to put ATMs all the time. Step number four is to figure out where you're gonna put the ATM, okay? Step number three was marketing, right? You gotta go out and you've gotta talk to people, okay? Step number four is actually landing the deal, right? Land the deal, okay? You're gonna talk to a person that owns a restaurant or a bar or a hair salon or whatever, and you're gonna say, hey, you don't have an ATM. I would love to place one in your business. And they're gonna say, what's in it for me? And you're gonna say, an ATM. Look, the reality of it is, Nine times out of 10, just having an ATM in a business that doesn't already have an ATM is already a huge benefit. So there's not always a reason to share part of your $3 or $4 or whatever the surcharge is with the owner of the location. Now, if the location owner is a bit more needy or they have higher expectations, then it is up to you to decide how much of your profit you wanna share with the owner of the location. Typically, I don't share any more than about 50 cents per transaction. Step number five is to order your ATM. You've done your marketing, you've gotten somebody to say yes, now you need the machine. Typically, on average, depending on where you buy your machine, you can get a machine in as little as probably about 10 to 14 days, and they'll ship just about anywhere in the United States. Now, just to give you a little bit of perspective, the machines aren't that big, okay? They're about, um, I don't know, they're probably, I'm like 5'10", okay, I'm pretty short, and they're probably like five, like maybe five foot tall or something like that. An average machine costs about $2,500. So many people are always like, Austin, are there any monthly fees? What about insurance? What happens about, like they have all of these like questions. I'm like, wait a minute, like just slow down, okay? Um, first of all, anytime you're getting into anything new, there's gonna be unknowns, right? And that's why I'm making this video. Typically, the insurance of the store owner will cover your machine as a fixture similar to an ice machine or a Coca-Cola machine or whatever the case may be. There are alternative options to insurance if you think you need extra liability. It is not that expensive and you can easily go out and get it to make you feel more comfortable. So $2,500, there's no hidden costs, there's no hidden fees. So before you click out of the video or drop me a bunch of comments saying that I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'm being honest with you, okay? $2,500 will buy you a brand new machine, and that is it. Question for you before we keep going. Does this sound too good to be true? I feel like when I got in this business, it sounded too good to be true to me. And I know, typically in life when things sound too good to be true, they probably are, but I don't think this industry is too good to be true, okay? Uh, the only other thing you could possibly be thinking is Austin, but cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum and um, you know, Apple Pay and all these things are gonna take over the world and nobody's gonna use any cash, Austin, so why would I start an ATM business? Because nobody's ever gonna use cash for the rest of their life. The reality of it is, people are still gonna use cash. I promise you, okay? There's a lot of low to middle income areas that use cash all the freaking time, okay? Do your due diligence. Go on the internet and look. Cash is being used consistently all the time. At a minimum, you get an ATM and for the next 10 or 20 years, you profit a significant ROI, um, you pay your bills, and if cash goes away in 20 years, hopefully by then, you have another business, another form of passive income. But honestly, that is worst case scenario. I don't think cash is gonna go anywhere. Step number six, you like Austin? Did my marketing, I landed the location, I ordered my ATM, my ATM's on the way, but all I got right now is a handshake. 
and I don't got a freaking contract. And for whatever crazy reason, contracts like freak people out. Like, I don't know what it is. I do real estate and a couple of other things too. And the number one hurdle, the number one reason that people don't get started is they're afraid of the contract. They have no idea where to get a contract. It's like, it's just some mysterious thing that only like lawyers and attorneys have access to. Little secret for you. There's this thing called Google, okay? You can Google ATM contracts. It is gonna be a template of a contract. You could probably take that contract, if I were you, to an attorney for $100, and you could make sure that that contract is good for you. Do not be one of those people that lets a contract or a piece of paper get in the way of paying all of your bills. Now you're like, Austin, how in the world am I gonna install this ATM? I got this big ATM, it's at my house. I don't even want an ATM at my house and my neighbors think I'm crazy. What in the world do I do with it? I've never installed an ATM in my life. I have no idea how to install an ATM. Okay, the reality of it is, the installation is very simple. It's like buying something off of Amazon or going to, I have you ever been to Ikea? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been to Ikea and you order something and it's like a bed or a couch or a desk and you pull out the instructions and really in the instruction manual they should like give you like, I don't know, like a prescription to some sort of like antidepressant because it is so freaking complicated. Okay, I promise you, if you've ever been to Ikea, take like, just do a bunch of math, okay? And then divide how complicated it is to put something together at Ikea by like 10. And that is how easy it is to install an ATM. It comes with instructions and it is literally step by step, very simple. If you still don't want to install an ATM, there are ATM installers all over the place or even a good local handyman should be able to install an ATM, no problem. Step number eight is to profit. Your average ATM will produce anywhere between two to $500 a month in pure profit. Um, I'm not here to make income claims, but based on all of our ATMs and all of our historical data, that is what our ATMs produce month after month after month, which is phenomenal, okay? $2,500 to make um, you know, anywhere from two to $500 a month to pay the bills is a phenomenal investment, and in my opinion, a phenomenal way, if not the best way, to make passive income in 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still here watching at the very end of the video, smash that subscribe button. I would love to make more videos just like this one. Um, drop in the comment section down below and let me know what you would like to see in a future video.